creating an irresistible offer for your product or service is definitely a difference maker. And it listen, there is an art and a science to it. What makes someone more successful than others being able to craft this message? What are the sort of, what's the secret sauce to creating an, an irresistible offer, whether it be for regular content like social media or on your website, or more importantly, on a social media ad. I'm going to reveal to you guys my 10 point checklist for creating irresistible offers for my clients. I'm going to literally give you everything and the, the kitchen sink to arm you guys with the ability to create an irresistible offer for your product or your service. This is Don't Fear Grit with Rob Taormina. Marketing strategies and advertising technologies to help you build a better business. Welcome back to Don't Fear Grit. Uh, today's episode is really full of a lot of secrets, but honestly, it's filled with information typically sold as like an informational product. It's sold through a coach guiding you through the process. Um, and it's not something that's typically just or, uh, learned or accidentally happened upon. They're just doing it. Um, this particular process is tried and true methods after managing tens of millions of dollars of ad spend. What is that secret method? What is the what is the process, the the step by step process for creating irresistible offers? Because the differentiator right now, I know you guys might be able to, be able to create uh, create an argument for this, but the truth is, the differentiator is not the product or the service it excel, itself. Because gone are the days of being the best at something or having the best product of being the differentiator of why you're going to be successful. That's not the case anymore. And I I think it we can all accept it's really best known over best all day long. And being that it's best known, how can you elevate the status of your product and your service by being able to create an irresistible offer? Because you're relying on what people are seeing and to be able to convert them into a prospect or a customer. So what is it that they're seeing? What is what irresistible offer are they seeing that psychologically bring them from, from a place of just seeing to paying customer? And that's what we're going to be discussing today. Now, I had someone comment on one of my uh, YouTube videos recently asking me why it took me so long for me to explain all of all of these like elaborate details of a particular subject. Well, I think that's a ridiculous question because some things do require a, a, a longer explanation so you understand not just what it is, but how to use it, why to use it, right? And this per person was like, no, just jump the gun. I mean, does that, does that not really represent most people these days? They just want, they want the answer right away. They don't want to really learn. But to appease this person, what I've decided to do is actually give the top 10 list. So if, if you're not listening and you're watching the show on YouTube, then you are going to be able to see this list right off the bat, one through. 10 and that's awesome if you want to sort of jump the gun screenshot the list and just move on because you don't need further exp explanation well then maybe you're the Einstein of this and that's fine more power to you but if you want the list and you want a little bit of a guidance stick with me here because we're gonna be going over this and I will literally reveal to you guys the 10 step process of creating an irresistible offer for your product or your service and this is applicable for both creating regular organic everyday posts but also creating ads more importantly actually ads how do you create and craft the right ad to be able to convert someone from someone seeing the ad to a customer so anyway um, let's get right into it here I'm gonna show the list ready in five four three two one here is the checklist for a uh, for creating an, an irresistible offer and it's a series of questions meant to guide you through whether or not you have already or or guide you through the process of creating an irresistible offer for your product. The first one that you need, and these are, again, these are sort of framed in a question because you want actually to be able to answer this. You know, the, the secret to really success in marketing is be able to get into the mindset of the consumer. So I put it in question forms. So the first one is, is there an existing urgent demand in a large group of people for what I'm offering? 
Does that make sense to you? Because what you need to first sort of um, establish in order to be able to create an irresistible offer, can you answer the question, is there already an established market that's demanding this particular product or service? Or have you come up with something that someone does not know about yet? There is no comparable product, no one is using it, or no one thinks they need it yet. Because that answer actually will take you down a completely different path on how to introduce it to the market, right? There's the introduction to the market, and then there's advertising a product and service that people already know, right? So you need to be able to answer that particular question, and that first one is, is there an existing urgent demand in a large group, a large market of people for what you are going to be offering? The second one, does my product or service fulfill on this demand in a unique way? way. It's not just a matter of whether or not now you have a product and you can identify a market, but if, especially if there, it's a market where there's lots of competition, meaning there's a lot of people offering the same product or the same service as you, what's your differentiator? How are you going to now present this in a unique way by establishing this, by answering this question, it's going to give you an edge right out of the starting gate. Number three, what are the emotions the prospect is experiencing right now? Now, if you're not going to acknowledge that emotions are part of the sales journey, then you're already sort of lost. You have to understand emotionally where these people are so that you can actually respond at that emotional level. And if you can do that, if you can solve a problem on someone's emotional level, you're not now only making the sale in the moment, you're going to create a long term customer. Uh, number four, what are all of the reasons why objections? Um, what are I'm sorry, what are all of the reasons why meaning objections someone would have to not buy my offer. This one is a big one, and I and I do this early on in uh, um, when I when I do my sort of discovery, my research and discovery phase for either new clients or new products or services that clients want to bring to market. We make a list and we exhaust this list. Like we go into detail, we sit down, we have a table discussion. What are all of the objections? Because part of being a great salesperson is being able to predict those objections and actually handle the objections, give the solutions right up front so you make the answer an easy yes and you don't give the customer an opportunity over and over again to give you an easy no. Makes sense, right? Next on our list, and by the way, you might notice that I'm going through this quickly because I actually want you guys to be able to get this list and immediately get to work because this is probably one of, if not the most valuable podcast episodes I've ever done on Don't Fear Grit. Listen, we've we've sat down with some incredible entrepreneurs and thought leaders over the years, and we've talked about um, very specific aspects of what made them successful. And they've been amazing, amazing shows. The last, last month in January, we talked about various aspects of leadership and marketing. Amazing, right? This is the first time ever that I am focusing on really unveiling sort of a, a way that we but also many other really successful agencies handle this aspect of marketing is how do you create that irresistible offer? Because it's one thing to have the product, one thing to have the service, but how do you communicate it in such a way where you can influence people to a purchasing decision? I'm literally revealing to you guys um, the 10 step process that goes through creating that irresistible offer. So if you guys are, I'm not, listen, I, I hate to be so direct, I, like I'm about to be right now, but honestly, if you were super smart right now, you would be putting pen to paper and writing down every single one of these lists. Every single thing that I'm putting on this list, you should be creating a carbon copy for yourself. And every single time that you or your team are creating any type of marketing material and you're relying on the, the ability to influence that person to a purchasing decision, you need to run that marketing project through the filter of this checklist. I am literally giving you guys something incredibly valuable that typically, honestly, coaches and business coaches and leadership uh, you know, classes and seminars and workshops and online courses and uh, conventions like they people pay 
big money to get access to this stuff. And I'm actually giving it away to you guys for free in this episode because hopefully it aligns with something that I've said almost every single show, which I genuinely believe that the tide rises for all ships. The more everyone's successful, the more I can help you guys be successful, then the tide rises for everyone, then everyone's successful, right? Um, so let's get back to this amazing list here. Number five is what are all the outcomes someone will have when they get what it is that I am offering. Now, you want to be able to make this list because one of the great things uh, about marketing, especially if you're going to be doing like a video format or something like that, is if you can predict for people. Now, remember earlier I said objections, but if you can also predict how it's going to make them feel. If you can predict the, the the problems that this is going to be the solution for, if you can predict all of the wonderful results and benefits and outcomes that people are going to have, people, then what you could do is you can help people see themselves using that product or service a little bit more, right? You need to hold, don't ever make the assumption that people will necessarily connect every single dot. Sometimes you got to hold their hand through the entire process and paint the picture for them. And in this case, by developing this list, it's arming you with incredible asset of, of these predictable possible outcomes that you can actually include as part of your marketing materials, which will help in the conversion of that particular uh, potential customer. Um, the next one, is there or can we make a limit to the offer? Now, sometimes product or services, you know, uh, the owner of that particular pr uh, product or service, they don't want to put a limit. They just want to sell as many as they possibly can. And, that, and that's fine. But are, are is there a way that you can create a limit? That's one way of phrasing that question. But the other one is, do you have to create a limit? For example, are there supply chain issues where you know that you can only get, let's say, 500 pieces of item units per month of this particular um, product? Well, if you know that ahead of time, you could include that as part of the incentive. Sometimes being upfront about that creates a sense of urgency, right? But instead of just being reactionary, Know this information ahead of time and convert, um, and, and rather not convert, but really change something that you might think is a, is a negative and a disadvantage and, and turn it into a positive. You can only put that spin, that positive spin on it if you're aware of it ahead of time. Um, next thing on our list, is there a deadline or can we make one for this particular offer? Now, deadlines uh, can be, you can fill in the blank, right? Some, some people, some product or services have no deadlines associated with it. Some of them are. Some of them are time sensitive. Some of them are only going to be released and available seasonally. Some of them are directly related, let's just say, to like the Super Bowl event. Once the Super Bowl is over, that's a deadline. Then your particular maybe product or service becomes irrelevant. So that put, puts a deadline and that also puts a sense of urgency on the marketing team to get it out there. But also creates a sense of urgency for the public. You're informing them. You're informing them saying, hey, this amazing thing is available, but it's only available until, I don't know, March 1st because of this reason. So clarity also helps with transaction. Next on our list, how can we remove risk to the prospect of taking us up on this order? How is it that by purchasing by taking advantage of this promotion, by um, following through on purchasing the pop product or, or, or service, how does that help the consumer, right? Sometimes it's just people buy out of passion or want, right, or, or desire, but does the pur purchase of this particular product or service solve a problem? So, so identify that for them and to help them and, you, and communicate. Remember what I said earlier, sometimes you have to just paint the entire picture for the individual in order for them to see and have proper vision of what it is that they're looking at. And in this case, does in fact, uh, you have to ask that, that, that question is, uh, can you remove risk for the prospect, for this potential customer or client? who is going to be taking you up on the offer that you are presenting. Number nine, we're getting to the uh, very end here. Number nine on the list is, does my value proposition clearly demonstrate a 10x or more return on investment in my offer? 
Remember, I'm going to say that one more time. For those that are listening, now, if you're watching on YouTube, you could just take the screenshot, right? But for those that are listening, I'm going to repeat that for you guys. Does my value proposition clearly demonstrate a 10x or more return on investment in my offer? That needs to be answered from the perspective of you. Does it present you an opportunity to experience a 10x or more return? Then you need to also answer the question on the on the from the perspective of the client customer who is purchasing your product or service. Does it present them an opportunity for a 10x or more return on their investment? Remember, an ROI is not only monetary, right? So you can identify what the ROI is for your consumer in, with regards to that perspective, right? The question from that perspective, you can identify what those, what's the emotional return on, on, invest, on investment, right? There's, there's lots of different forms of ROI and you in this question are gonna identify first yes or no, and then you can sort of go down the list and answer what those are. Last on our list of, uh, this is our checklist for an irresistible offer, is do you have proof elements to back up your claims? This one is so incredibly important. You can't just state this is the best. You can't just state this product um, solves all your prob problems. You need evidence to back up that claim in order to properly convert to sales, whether it's a product or a service, right? And um, proof comes in the form of reviews, social proof, third-party endorsements, experiments, video evidence, right? Do you have a, 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 a plethora of pieces of information that you can lean on as your social proof when you are making these claims publicly about your product or service. Now, if you've run down this checklist and you have um, positively answered everything in this checklist and that works to your advantage, what you're gonna be doing is you're positioning your offer now to be completely irresistible. And if we look up even the definition of irresistible and then we run that through our answers, we understand what, what we're getting at here is what you're doing is you're setting up your particular offer to the customer in such a way you're making it almost impossible for them to say no because it's literally removing all their risk. It's solving all of their problems, both in the physical and the emotional world. It's identifying now also the return on investment for them as well. It's gonna help you scale your business. It's gonna create more opportunities. It's doing all these incredible, incredible things. And once you frame your offer in this way, right, we're gonna package it and frame it and put a bow on it and present it, it's that irresistible offer now that no one can refuse. Instead of just taking your product, saying, no, this is amazing, you need it, and assuming, wait a minute, why? And then you're like, why am I not making any sales with this? This is a great product. Well, did you run it through the checklist for an ir irresistible offer? And you're like, but wait a minute, I know that we would do a good job. Well, that's great. Do you have any social proof? Do they know that you would do a good job? Right? There's all these incredible questions that'll help you re refine it. So if you are someone who already have all these offers out there and they're just not converting to your expectation, my suggestion, run it through the filter of the checklist of an irresistible offer and you will find places of your uh, of your offer that you can optimize and you can improve and you are actually going to see better results from it. Now, if you're someone who's yet to do it and was like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. It's a daunting task or you put it off because maybe you're just lazy. Well, now's the time to do it because if you really want to be able to scale your business, you also need to become really good at creating irresistible offers for what it is that you do, whether it be selling a product or offering a service. And this particular episode, bookmark it. If you're someone you didn't yet go back and write down all of the items of this checklist, bookmark this episode. This episode is literally going to be the difference maker for your business because if you take all of your offers, right? If you're in the, if you have a business, then you're marketing, right? If you have a business, I don't care if it's a product, I don't care if it's a service, then you are in the business also of marketing. You need the ability to communicate what it is that you are doing to the community. So in order to be able to do that effectively today in today's social media technology AI economy, you need to learn how to do this and you understand you have to understand the value of what I'm talking about here. I literally in this episode just revealed to you 
what you need to do. If you've been searching for the answer, this is it. Start here because it'll literally open your eyes to a lot of other things as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, I, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate anyone that gives me a listen because you're giving me up of your time and trusting that you're going to learn something of value. And I hope that we delivered today for you. If you feel like, man, wow, I learned something amazing, do me a favor. Let me know because that's sort of the, the motivation and inspiration behind every single future episode. But also share it with someone else because there's this is a true statement that if you've been with me, with me for a while, you've heard me say it. And even if it's just this episode, I've, I said it within this episode. The tide rises for all ships. You want the people around you to be successful. And also for this for this one reason, if, if nothing else. Because the more people you have around you that are more successful than you are, and the more challenged you're going to be to raise the bar for yourself in your life, in your relationship, in your business. So guys, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being amazing people in the Don't Fear Grit community. Find us wherever we are, whether it be on your favorite podcast uh, channel or on YouTube or in our, we have a private Facebook community of entrepreneurs. You're welcome to find us there. And, uh, and join that group and we can continue the conversation there. But guys, remember, don't fear the process and don't fear grit. Take care.